So Justin Woolley sends me this video and tells me to take a look at it and, 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 and help spread the word about what's going on. And, uh, you know, I took a look at the video and it, you know what, it brought me back to taking a look at some of the videos that I created regarding the United Nations. And that's what we need to rehash back over because I think really a lot of people need to ask themselves, what is the desired outcome from everything that we've been seeing going on around us? What do I mean? Well, we've been seeing a lot of weird ass hoax events going on that they're trying to portray people as having mental health issues, that they are what? That they like to stockpile weapons or at least family members do, like the mother, Nancy Lanza, and now the latest round with Chris Sean Harper Mercer. That's right, they're coming out and saying that moms likes to stockpile weapons there as well. But all of this stuff that we've been seeing, this is, this is new stuff since Obama's got into office. It's like, it almost seems like Obama's been put, put into the office because other people were like, oh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, well, what we'll do is, is we'll use this guy here because, well, he's black. And if people try to state that, uh, you know, he's screwing over the country, we could just say that, oh, you're just a bunch of racists and you don't like blacks. See, you see how that works? That's, that's I think, how this is all beginning to play out for me in my mind. Now, I'm not trying to do, do any fear-mongering. What I want you to do is, is let's look at the evidence and see if this is the actual desired outcome with all of the evidence that we can see. I already mentioned all of the hoaxed events and how it's led up to the United Nations working with the United States to combat extremism, so they call it. It's called the Strong City Initiative. We're going to look at that, and you can see that that came from uh, Chris Ann Hall, where she brought us uh, some information regarding Loretta Lynch and her speech about how, um, you know, these cities are uniting with the United Nations to combat extremism, right? But where are they getting the ideas of extremism from? Oh, th you see how that is? The new terminology, a lone wolf. It's not so much a new terminology, but they're starting to use it. You know, he's a lone wolf attacker. Oh, he's got the D Dylan Roof. He was a lone wolf. Uh, you got this guy over there in Virginia, Vl Vester Flanagan. Yeah, he's got some mental issues, and he can get a gun anytime he wants, and that's a big problem. We can't allow that. Uh, you look at Adam Lanza. His mom was a gun fanatic, so they say. And he was able to get a hold of those guns. Now, I guarantee you, with the latest round out of Oregon, they're going to state what? That's right. They've already stated it. That Chris Sean Harper Mercer's mother, Laurel Harper, is a gun fanatic and likes to walk around with AR-15s slung off her back. That's what they're stating. It's very insane that they are using this and these hoaxes to really get people to willingly give up their guns so really that they don't have to come after them. See, we we would be doomed to repeat exactly what has happened in the past with China, um, Germany, Russia, all of these other countries that went and did all these things by force. Well, you're living in an age where now it's all about your perception with everybody, and they wouldn't go that route, would they? Well, no, now they're using hoaxery to get uh, to achieve their goals. That's my opinion. So let's take a look at the evidence here regarding this strong city initiative. And let's take a look at what Justin Woolley sent me. So Justin Woolley was showing me that uh, DHS and UN practicing for gun confiscation in what appears to be a little Christian mount facility where the Marines are training in a mount facility. And it happens to have this church cross right up here on the top, right? So where, where have we seen something similar to this? Now, I don't know exactly where this facility is, but this was put up on uh, Alpha uh, Foxtrot Alpha's channel right here. And he's showing here that this indeed could be a UN officer of some sort and what do i mean by that i'm going to show you i'm going to get into that about a video that i did a while back for all of you new subscribers new followers who have not seen the video that i created several months back or the video that i created where i called the united nations myself well we saw this facility in virginia where they have a church right here 
and a subway train, an underground subway train, a bank, a school. Okay. So the first thing that ought to tip you off is, is you got railroad crossing right here, right? Now, is this part of the town? Is this in the city? I do believe it is. So if it is, well, th that surely doesn't look like something overseas where they would have something that looks so American or a church that looks so American. Although the Telegraph does claim that it has a mosque and doesn't mention anything about a church whatsoever. Just like you see right here in this training right here for some kind of mm, training. I'm not going to call it gun confiscation because I can't say, they, they don't say that specifically. But I'm going to use all of the available information with this new Strong City initiative to make my point, though. Now, of course, there was uh, many, many other people reporting, of course, um, on this uh, prepper uh, the survival gear, off-grid survival, all of that stuff they were reporting on this very fact, right? Do you guys remember? There's been a few videos circulating around where one person had captured on camera United Nations Humvees that were on a train transport. I do believe it was Texas, Colorado. So I don't know, something like that. Something around that area. I do know that. And then, of course, I did this video right here. And in this video right here, you can see that this vehicle right here is covered up so the public on the street could not see what kind of vehicle it was. Some of this information for the first time, not just... But the other vehicle actually had the paper come off and you could see that it was United Nations underneath there. So why, if they were just going to be selling these to the United Nations because they had just built them. Well, what would be the pur pur purpose of covering them up? Why are you trying to hide the fact that it's a United Nations vehicle? Well, I do believe it's because so many people were making videos spotting these United Nations vehicles already. And they were covering them up because, well, that's exactly how we were reporting it is the actual truth. How do we know that that's the actual truth, though? And I'm going to show you. Back in June of last year, we all, there was a many, many people reported on this. And this is directly from the United Nations uh, website where they were looking for a DDR officer. And the duty station was New York. If you looked at all of the other jobs that were available all around the globe, the duty station was listed where you were going to be working. If you were going to be working, uh, uh, you know, pulling weeds, well, in, in Liberia, well, guess what? Your duty station was Liberia. If you were going to be a, a freaking uh, a frog hopper or whatever the hell, the, whatever job description they had, and it was going to be in uh, Timbuktu somewhere, then that's where your duty station was listed for, right? Well, it just so happens that they had a job listing for a DDR officer for the duty station out of New York. And this was June. Now, we've seen all kinds of faked events ramped up since, Ju since June of last year when they were coming out with this. We've seen UN vehicles being transported at different times, different locations. And how many transportation of UN vehicles do you think may have happened that we did not capture on camera or uh, by, by a, a vigilant citizen out there with the camera, right? So that becomes a problem. We don't even know how much equipment that they're moving around or where or when. But what we do know is out of all of these events that have been taking place as of late, that there has been all of this movement with the Strong City Initiative, right? Strong Cities, inspiring local resilience on a global scale, which means them working with the United Nations to combat violent extremism. And that's what a lot of these hoaxed events that we're seeing that they're trying to portray right off the bat like watch oh uh he was a black lives matter extremist this guy right 
How about the guy who shot the cop over in Texas? And I could go into that. I got some material there that I've been saving up because I think I may be able to prove that was a BS story as well. So they're trying to promote all of this violent extremism, violent, violent extremism. Adam Lanza, Asperger's, but he's a violent extremist. Dylan Roof, a violent extremist. Uh, Vester Flanagan, um, Elliot Rogers, he was just, they, they, they got stupid right there and used a, a gay guy to try to make it look like he was a killer, which didn't work out too well for him. But anyway, what I'm saying is, is that what you're finding is that your own government, Department of Justice, is finding a way to get the United Nations incorporated into the United States to be able to utilize that DDR officer, the United Nations forces, and possibly a lot to do with local police forces, right? Why do you think all of these military-type equipment has went out to all of these police departments, right? Do you think that doesn't mean anything? I think that it does. And I think that when the time is right, these people are very, you got to remember, these people are very patient, they are very methodical, and they stay five to ten steps ahead of us always. And I do believe that they're not just going to go and move all of their chess. It's like a chess game, right? For us, all we can do is sit there and wondering what the next person's move is going to be. And we're looking from the outside. And when we see our government move a chess piece of like uh, giving the military equipment to the local police departments and we go, oh, yeah, well, they're just, you know, got access equipment and, you know, they're giving them that because, uh, you know, whatever. And then we don't know it. Five years down the road, all of a sudden, when the United Nations starts coming into the United States and all of that military equipment that they placed there five years ago with all these local police departments are going to come into use. And you go, damn, how come I didn't see that coming? Well, you should see it coming because I told you these people are, 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 are methodical. They are conniving sons of bitches. And... Now, after you've seen the United Nations vehicles, after you've seen all of these hoaxed events where they're trying to promote these people as a, a Black Lives Matter, now he's a, a white extremist, uh, he's this, he's that, there's domestic terrorism that they're trying to promote. Somebody is, uh, I, I'm waiting for them to go, well, this guy is a militia member. Or how about even worse? This guy is a truther, and he's actually going out to attack people that he claims participated in a hoax and really tried to make the truth community look really, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for it to happen. I'm just waiting for it to happen. But the whole thing is, is that most of the people in this truth community, you know why they don't do it? Because we know most of everybody, mostly. Unless, of course, it's somebody with no name, and they take him out. And then do the uh, whatever the event is. And then you would think it's that person because he doesn't show up on his channel anymore. But you would never know that because you don't know the person's real name or what he looked like. Right? Well, so anyway, that's my whole thing. And what it's going to lead up to, if you think about all of the stuff that we've seen all around you, it's going to make a lot of sense that something is coming in the very, very near future. Could be a year, could be two years. It may not be martial law. It may be something else. It may be, who knows? Who knows what it's going to be? But for those people out there who think that I was, you know, promoting all of the Jade Helm stuff like that, all of the training that the, the training's still going on all over the place. There's still much, much more training. And a lot of, some of you go, well, what happened with Jade Helm? Well, there's a thing here. There's a lot of things that took place while Jade Helm was going on. Do you think that it may not have been related? I think that it quite possibly could have been. A lot of different kind of hoaxes going on over in Tennessee, uh, Texas, uh, wherever. All kinds of different places stuff was going on. But could have the Jade Helm exercise been hampered because of Texas Governor Abbott's deployment of of the Texas Guard to watch over their activities. You guys seem to forget about that too. You think that, you know, that didn't have any kind of uh, uh, hindrance on the, uh, on the military from doing anything that they may have wanted to do more. We just don't know, right? So 
But I just thought I'd leave you with that, and you guys uh, uh, just check over the material. I'll leave you guys links for everything.